Hi Cancer, how are you guys? I hope you're all really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2022 for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It is general, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation, which is perfectly okay. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also, keep in mind that the roles in this particular reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Cancer, let's see what is going on with you for the second half of September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, for the situation, we have the Seven of Swords crossed by the Five of Wands. Mm, okay, so there's a little bit of difficulty here that I feel you are facing, and there's some conflict in this connection. Um, I feel like there has been some kind of either dishonest behavior or somebody just avoiding something, holding back. Um, trying to be avoidant in some way and that is creating some conflict, some drama possibly. Um, it's interesting because it's also coming in as somebody trying to avoid conflict, like not wanting to have drama and for that reason they are being either dishonest in some way or keeping something to themselves, something along those lines. We'll see more when we clarify it. Let's see the recent past. We have death. All right, so Scorpio's energy is showing up here. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio or you might have Scorpio in your charts. Um, either there was some kind of an ending or there was some kind of a major transition, like something, something just shifted big time um, recently. Let's see for your energy. We have the King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. You are coming from a place of wanting commitment or feeling like, you know, there was commitment. You wanted the things to be very, very stable. Um, but it feels like there's a lot of waiting associated to that, at least now. Like, that's how it, it progressed. Kind of like seeing that as something in the future, but that it hasn't come in just yet. Let's see. For them, we have the moon and the lovers. Okay, so Pisces is also showing up here in your reading, as well as Gemini. Um, yeah, it feels like it's this person who is hiding something with the moon being here. There's something here that is not being revealed, something that this person may be either even repressing, even from their own self, or they're just hiding it from you, even though they're feeling this deep connection with you, and this is a connection that they do feel love for. Let's see what is coming up in the near future. We have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so there is a little bit of anxiety or stress here for someone. We'll see when we clarify. And the message for you is the Two of Cups, okay, which is really beautiful as a final message here. All right, this is love, um, a coming together of some type. And this is Mannix. I think he just wanted to come say hi, and I think he's on his way over there. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so, Cancer. No, he's back. He's like, I didn't want to go. <laughs> Why'd you make me go? Yeah, he wants, he wants some affection now. I feel like he's tapping into your energy. Cancer wants some affection. Okay. Yeah, he's going to sit here. He did this, I think it was in Aquarius' reading. He just sits here for a couple of minutes and then he's probably going to leave. So, we'll just let him be. Because he's a cutie. <laughs> All right. So for the Seven of Swords and the Five of Wands for the situation, let's see. There he goes. Okay, that was quick. Thank you, Mannix, for your company as long as it lasted and for giving us now some space. Okay, so clarifying the Seven of Swords with the Five of Wands, we have the Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. All right, Cancer. 
um, yeah, there is de there's definitely a lot of pain um, at the moment in attachment to whoever it is that is being dishonest. I feel like, again, somebody is being dishonest because they want to avoid some kind of argument or they want to avoid some kind of conflict, drama. Um, for some of them, even possibly um, in t concerning other people as well, okay? Because we do have the Five of Wands as well as the Three of Pentacles. So it could be that there are third parties involved and they're just trying to avoid as much drama as possible. So whatever this is that they are either hiding or being dishonest about or just avoiding, it's like they're being very rigid in that. They're, they're like holding on to this energy very, very tightly. However, it is bringing about a lot of pain into the connection for the both of you. Let's see the death card. I mean, it does look like things are getting better here, okay? I know it feels like um, with the <laughs> Nine of Swords, yes, you know, there might still be a little bit of stress, but it could be that this person needs to, you know, feel that anxiety, that stress, um, that pain of all of this before getting to that Two of Cups, okay? Um, so yeah, let's not get discouraged just yet. Let's see death for the recent past. What is this about? The Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups again. Wow, Cancer. I don't know who this is that you're dealing with, but there's definitely a lot of love here. Um, there's a lot of, or there was, a lot of potential for this love. Um, I feel like it ended like this, this like Ten of Cups, this Two of Cups, this love, this happiness, this dream of this happiness within the connection was just shattered. It like there was just this ending to it. Um, yeah, and somebody is avoiding the issue here. Let's move on to your energy. Let's see that King of Pentacles. The King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Lots of cups here, lots of water energy. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are definitely dealing with another water sign. And if you are, please let me know in the comments because there's like water energy all over the place here. Um, yeah, I, I, you know what? I mean, it's like your energy towards this is that, yeah, you know, I want commitment. I want things to be stable. I want things to be rational. I want things to make sense. I just want this to be mature and I want things to be um, based in love, coming from love. And I feel like, you know, you you even felt this intuitively that, you know, there is this potential here and then something just really went wrong. Which I feel like you, you probably weren't even expecting that for a lot of you. Um, let me see that Three of Wands. The Four of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yeah, you're beginning to doubt whether this will ever come back or whether, you know, you will be able to find this stability. Um, because I feel like, you know, you just want to talk things out. You want to find some kind of resolution. You just want to speak in a very logical way with this person and have, like, maturity. Because I feel like there might be a little bit of a lack of that at the moment. And so, yeah, you're moving towards really doubting whether this will be able to be a strong, a strong um, foundation for the connection. So, let's see. For them, the moon, what are they hiding? The Five of Wands showing up again, and Strength card. Okay, so we also have Leo. Yeah, see, so that Five of Wands is attached to them, so it's definitely the other person, unless the roles are reversed here, of course, um, especially if you're cross-watching. So it, it's attached to them, this Five of Wands, right? This arguing or conflict or that energy that they are trying to avoid. Um, it could be that even though they're trying to avoid conflict, like or trying to avoid an argument, that that still kind of happens. Like the more that they try to avoid it, the more it actually happens. Because, well, it just doesn't make sense to you to avoid it. That can be very, very frustrating. 
So again, just like they had that Four of Pentacles, I'm getting a similar energy with the Strength card of them trying to really, really refrain from creating more drama. And I feel that the more they try to hide things or the more that they're just being mysterious and closed off, like the more conflict they're actually creating. So the more they try to avoid it, the more that they actually bring that to the table here. Let's see the lovers. The Hanged Man and the Nine of Pentacles. Why are they, yeah, they're just like, I, I feel like they're, you know, they, they feel this love, right? They feel the connection. They, they definitely want this, but it's like they're pressing pause on this because they're just almost like they're waiting for this to kind of um, play out or they're waiting for it to just kind of um, be done by itself, like magically disappear. And so for that reason, I feel like they're kind of being a little bit standoffish. But I don't think that that's going to last very long because then we have that Nine of Swords. So let's actually clarify that. But I'm also getting with this, um, <clears throat> this Hanged Man and the Nine of Pentacles. It's like this person is actually feeling a little bit less than. So like their sense of self-worth at the moment is not actually very high because of what it is that is happening or because of what it is that has happened that wasn't very noble, you know, it was something dishonest. And I'm, I don't know if it's something very significant or if it's something trivial, um, but I feel like for you, like, it doesn't matter. That's not the point. The point is, like, even if it's something trivial, that, you know, why are you being dishonest about it? It's, it's the way that this person is handling the situation that is, you know, upsetting to you. And that's more significant than what it is that they actually did. So I hope that makes sense. So yeah, that's why this person is feeling like, all right, you know, um, let me just see if this kind of passes. Maybe it'll just subside. Okay, so Nine of Swords for what is coming up. And we have the Nine of Cups and the Six of Swords. Yeah, you know, I, I get here that you're distancing yourself um, from this. And because of that, this person is actually, you know, going to feel the depths of that to the point where it's going to create a lot of stress for them because they're going to feel like, you know, they've lost what they want. They've lost this emotional fulfillment. And not only that, I feel like this person is going to actually feel like maybe they have even been a little bit selfish in some way. Um, and when I say selfish, I mean like, you know, just wanting things to be in their benefit in a way, not in the very negative way, but more like, okay, I don't want to have to deal with conflict. So, you know, I'm just going to avoid this. And then that leaves you hanging. So that is selfish. That's what I mean by selfish, not, I mean, it could be worse <laughs> for some of you, depending on your situation, but that's just the energy that I'm getting here. So let's see the two of cups, because that's a beautiful, beautiful message here for you. <clears throat> Ooh, and we have the star and the world. Wow. Cancer, I don't know what it is that is happening here. I don't even know if it's this same person. Um, but there's definitely love. Spirit is telling you here that you have love in your potential. There is so much hope for something that is going to be so beautiful and something that is going to complete you 100%. I feel like, you know, this chapter, whatever it is, of this particular situation, it's closing out it's closing out and that's bringing in love, whether it be with the same person or with somebody else. Um, but I do get that, you know, the message for you definitely is, you know, to distance yourself from anything that is not in alignment with you. And then let things play out. Okay, so let's get a final Oracle message for you. And if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. 
definitely let me know in the comments if you're dealing with a water sign or just whatever sign you are dealing with. And let's see. We have the number 37, never ending story. Yeah, you know, there's, I feel like this may have been a story that has not had, that has played out over and over and over again. It's either that and it's time for that to be done with. All right, closing out that world card. Or there could be a story that you have been telling yourself and that you are now beginning to see, okay, I need to change the story that I've been telling myself and I need to change the story of my life. It's like breaking some kind of a pattern here, a cycle. All right, Cancer, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.